Now coming to treatment of OSMF, the treatment depends on the degree of clinical involvement. The management is by both surgical and non-surgical approach. Let us discuss conservative approach first. The conservative treatment includes restriction of habits, nutritional therapy and oral physiotherapy. Chilies, erica nut spices and commercially available gutka pan masala is increasing in India. So there is a need for increased patient motivation. The patient motivation to get the habit in early stage of OSMF is an essential step of treatment in oral submucous fibrosis. Vitamins and elements like iron, copper, zinc, magnesium and selenium reduce the oxidant levels. This reduction in oxidant levels is associated with decreased fibrosis. Physiotherapy can in the, be in form of phys, physical exercise regimen, splints and muscle stretching exercises. Muscle stretching exercises put pressure on fibrous bands and improvement in oral submucous fibrosis. The forceful mouth opening has been tried with mouth gang and acrylic surgical script. Heat therapy causes fibrinolysis of bands. This diathermy selectively heats only juxtapithelial connective tissue and limits the area to be treated so it is easy to apply with minimum discomfort. Now coming to medical treatment of oral submucous fibrosis. Steroids, as we all know, it is a, these are immunosuppressive agents. They help in reduction of fibrocollagenous condition and they reduce the number of fibroblasts and collagen fibers. Hyaluridinase acts on collagen from OSMF patients than on normal collagen. It decreases the hyaluronic acid matrix and so it lowers the thickness of intracellular cemental substance. Also, it activates plasmatic mechanisms. It along with dexamethasone has given superior results if compared with hyaluronidinase injection alone. Lin and Lin found that intralegional collagenase injection help in improvement of mouth opening because there is reduction in collagen bundles. Also, collagenase injection help in reduction of uh, decrease in hypersensitivity to spices, cold and heat. Placentrex is a combination of nucleotides, enzymes, amino acids, steroids and vitamins. Placentrex acts by biogenic stimulation. It was used as early as in 1933 by Philatov. Placentrex Extracts help in metabolic and regenerative processes and in healing of tissue. Interferon gamma has immunoregulatory effect. It is an antifibrotic cytokine. It reduces collagen synthesis after stimulation of OSMF fibroblasts. And large number, number of studies indicate that it is very helpful in treatment of oral submucous fibrosis. Aloe vera has antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory and healing properties and thus it is helpful in treatment of oral submucous fibrosis. Aloe vera also helps in reduction of burning sensation in OSMA patients. The mouth opening is improved and it overall enhances patient quality of life. Turmeric has antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. Large number of studies indicate that turmeric helps in improvement in OSM of patients. Pentoxyphylin is a methyl xanthine derivative. It acts by various mechanisms. Mainly, it act, has antithrombin, antiplasmin, and fibronolytic activity. And so, there is improvement in advanced oral submucous fibrotic lesions. It causes degranulation of neutrophils. It increases natural killer cell activity and inhibits T cell and B cell activation. It also maintains cellular integrity and hemostasis. This drug can also reduce the symptoms in patients with OSMF in addition to its function in improving the vascularity. It reduces microcirculation and the microcirculation can also improve, can also progress sometimes. Also, 
leukocyte deformability is amplified as well as it slows down neutrophil adhesion and activation. It has antithrombin, antiplasmin, and fibronolytic activity. Chymotrypsin is an endopeptidase enzyme that can execute proteolysis and thus helps in treatment of oral submucous fibrosis. Thank you.